Howdy, 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 my name is Anachi Sasuke, and welcome to the Swords of Ditto, Mormo's Curse. So this just came out today for the Nintendo Switch, it's been on the PC and the PS4 for a while. But it, the Mormo's Curse is an update that changes some things. All I know about this game is that it's a roguelike that has some Legend of Zelda elements? That's all I know. So, let's, let's go in. I've, this is my first time playing it, so I have no experience with this game yet. Let's see, there's regular mode, hero mode. They recognize death is the end and time is always against us. Regular, for most adventurers, provides strong but fair challenge. Relaxed is when you want to take it easy and see the sights. It's a less fearsome place than relaxed mode. Let's try regular mode first, see how that goes. I'll probably play relaxed mode on my own time, just so I can like make some progress and then when I do another video of this, know what I'm doing. But for now, time to find out what's going on. Wake up! Wake up! Hey, Sleeping Beauty! Wake up! Can I move? Let's see, there's a shell, there's some burbs. Can I pick up things? Don't tell me we've fallen at the first hurdle! It's a bug. Maybe if I just pinch his nose. Did you pinch his nose, or did he wake up? Hello. Nothing like a lack of oxygen to bring a person to their senses. Anyway, morning, sleepyhead. Nice of you to join us. Okay, first things first, we gotta get you kitted out with the sword. See that glowing light? Follow it. You mean the glowing light on you? Or... I'm getting ahead of myself again, aren't I? First time, nerves. There's a lot to go through, so probably better if I explain it as we go. Oh, guess I should introduce myself. The name's Puku. Nice to meet ya. Now let's get to the town. All right. The town. Followed the glowing. Can I pick that up? Nope. All right. Well, I guess we just gotta go get the sword. I like the music. It reminds me of um, Thomas was alone a little bit. Except less ethereal. I can't wait to cut this grass. Look at it. It's a different color than the scenery, so by cartoon logic, I can interact with it. Yeah, I like this music. Although the loading times seem to be a bit up there. Like, I had two false starts of starting the recording because it was just a blank black screen for a minute. And then it did it again. So I had two false starts before it actually got to game. This is the main town on the island, but we'll have plenty of time for a tour later. For now, let's head to the statue! The first time I heard of this game was I saw a trailer for it on the demo PS4's at GameStop. And I was like, that looks a lot of fun, hello. Pretty rare to see a new face around here. Are you another wash-up? Hmm? How do you get off the island? <laughs> you sure have got an overactive imagination. I guess I don't get a boat then. Can I talk to this weird purple thing? Nah, it's a bird. What about you? I found a sticker code the other day. I took it to lick at the sticker shack, but they just got me common stickers. That's not gonna stop me though. Today's the day my luck will change. That's nice. What's this? For sale, waterproof bed sheets. A certain brave little soldier who I don't want to embarrass doesn't need them anymore. Connie B. Dylan's mom. So much for him not embarrassing them. Did did you just hear a voice? Uh, I gotta step take double shifts at the Ditto Mart. Okay. Look, it's the Ditto Mart, and this guy who's totally not Mario. How you doing? Good day to you. And after anything in particular? I don't have any money. Come back soon. Okay. That well, there's the sticker shack. Seems to be run by a frog guy. He, what is that sound? Oh, it's the kazoo. What's what, what's up with the kazoo? Hi. Welcome to Air Kazoo, the most musical way to fly. We're all out of puff right now, but please come back later. Okay. And apparently I can also get mail. Oh, there's a thick envelope inside. Looks important. If only it was for you. Dang. And who are you? Yeesh! You stink of seawater! Have you been lying around the beach all day? Save for this time, kiddo. I was in such a rush to grow up that I wished those days away, but now... For your information, I almost died! Oh... My... God! That outfit? I've never seen anything like it! Where'd you get it? The ocean, probably. Anyway, uh... TOYS! Oh, hey. Oh, hey. I've not seen you around before. You new in town? Well, then, welcome. 
a quiet little place, but we're happy enough. That's nice. Do, 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 do! As you grasp the sword, you feel a mystic power coursing through your veins. Imbuing the strength of your forebears, you have become the Sword of Ditto. I've got a helmet and everything. Oh, hey, it's Buku. Ta-da! Look at you standing there all sparkly and heroic. Guess it's time I explain a few things, huh? Ditto is under a curse, see? Every hundred years, the wicked witch Mormo rises to spread her evil influence throughout the land. Now, an opposed evil is kinda unfair, so a hero, the Sword of Ditto, also rises to fight Mormo and stop her evil schemes. Hint, that's you! I guess that's a pretty big ass seeing as you just washed up here and all, but I don't write the rules and there's no complaints department. That's fair. You wanna know what's so bad about Mormo? Well, it's a bit off script, but why don't I show you? Beats having to listen to me some more, right? Come on, her palace is this way. That sounds like I'm gonna get killed. Oh, I can do a barrel roll! How do I do a slashy slash? Is it this button? Yeah, it is. I can cut the grass now! <laughs> Ow! Hiccups! <laughs> do I have a charge attack? Nah. This music is also on point. Oh no! Mysterious purple. P hats! But they look like lampshades. Look at all those creeps! Guess they know their ooky spooky mash is about to return. Let's check the tower, see if anything started yet, but be careful. It'd look real bad if you died at the first challenge. Yeah, it sure would. I did read a couple of reviews. So I know a little bit more than I said I do, but not much. I like how I can also destroy the tiny bushes, but can the sword... Can I kick... I can break the skull. Woody, 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 woody. Okay, those are level two. I don't know what level I am. It seems I also have some sort of items. Hey. Do I have infinite arrows? I seem to have infinite arrows. Oh. Oh, something's happening. Oh, I guess I could just go in. I guess the door was locked because of the, the, the spooky dudes, but now they're all gone because infinite arrows. Knock and he knock knock! It's me, the Sword of Ditto. I've come to slay you, witch! Probably. Ooh, a new hat. Aw. Man. Oh, there was a bone in it. That's not the kind of bones that are in hats. That's the kind of bones that are in hats. What a! Also, there's grass in here. Watch out! Ah! Okay, so, what's the haps? Oh, it's a bigger one. That's not the direction I was coming from. Strike it down! Oh no. Okay, that's cool. If I hold the shoot button, I can aim. Yeah. Is this money? Or is it more body parts? There's a whole lot of body parts and helmets in here. Um. What is that? Well, whatever he is, he's immune to arrows. Oh, he's got a shield. Maybe if I kill the other guys first. Okay, shoot them. No! Oh, I can just dodge roll right through the guy. Okay, so it looks like I have to shoot him when he's not paying attention. Oh no, he's paying attention! Hmm. Ha ha! Can I roll a I thought that was gonna be death water, but I was mistaken. Okay, next door, next door. The room layout reminds me of Bonding of Isaac a little bit. Destroy it! But the room layout reminds me of Bonding of Isaac a little bit, which is probably not what I should be saying. What did I just shoot? Oh, it's a wall. I shouldn't be saying Bonding of Isaac because 
Binding of Isaac reminds me of Zelda, so I shouldn't be saying this reminds me of Zelda. I have just played much more Binding of Isaac than I have played of the older Zelda games. The music seems to be getting louder. Also, when y'all were level 2, the arrows killed you in one hit. Why does it take two now? Up the stairs! Oh, oh, it's another bonyman. Oh, I can, I can just dodge you? Alright, bye. That, I can dodge you too? Okay, bye! Oh, it saves between every room, that's cool. I never actually noticed that. Can I break, oh. Is Puku Puku gonna, yep, there he is. Ah, blasted, you need to light these things to get past the door, this door. Have you got anything that you can do, use to start a fire? I do, but I don't know how to make it do the thing. Use your torch by pressing X while this. Oh, okay. You can open your bag with what's well, probably the, no, that's the plus button, and assign items to whichever thing on the D-pad that you want. Mana. Nana. Na 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 na. Okay. I wonder if I can roll into the pits in the ground. Also, this is probably the boss room. Oh, hey. Her her face kind of looks similar to Puku's. Ah, I should have known it was you, Puku. One can only hold off the vermin for so long, after all. Yeah, well, uh, it takes one to know one. Ah, shoot, should have prepared something better than that. As you can see, I'm already back, which means your little lackey must be too, hmm? Yes, you. You must be Puku's latest little toy. Charmed, I'm sure. I do hope she's explained just what you signed up for. Oh, Puku's a lady, my bad. I don't much like toys, you see. I find them a distraction. They bring people joy, levity, hope. These are not values I wish to be cultivated in my idiot flock. See, it sounds like you've been watching a little bit too much The World, uh, The Year Without a Santa Claus. So I will make an example of you, young one. I will unthread every seam holding you together. I will rip your little button eyes off your head. I will pull out every inch of stuffing and scatter it far and wide so that all may know what becomes of hope. I don't have button eyes. Wait, you're a toy? Whoa, this is definitely the first time a toy's ever been to the Sword of Ditto. Of course he isn't a toy, it's a metaphor, you insect-brained! Deep breath, in and out. Seeing as you're already here, why don't I just nip this in the bud now and save time for everyone? My apologies, Sword, it's nothing personal. Hey, no fair! You could've at least let me do a barrel roll. I had the move, all I had to do was push the B button, I could've dodged that. The sword falls. <laughs> Ow, hiccups. Okay, so I guess I can't do evil laughs today. But, you know, I don't need to. Saving. Okay, now what? And lo, did the sword fall to the ground, dulled in light and blade. Like so many before, and so many to come. And with her resurrection unopposed, Mormo spread her tendrils of darkness across the land. The people bowed their heads in fear, praying that the sword may one day be reborn to them. Did they even know the sword was here the first time? A hundred years later, just as the last embers of hope were dying. Ooh! Ooh! Man, I should be a creepy disembodied voice more often! Anyway, right, hello! It's time for us to go! A hundred years I've been waiting to get another go at Mormo, so let's skedaddle! Wakey, wakey. Is this a Super Nintendo or a Nintendo 64? It's a cartridge of some kind. I guess I can't barrel roll until I have a sword. I forgot a little helmet that I also can't use. Why is that there if I... What? I have a game system. If the if the world has been in a, an era of chaos, why are why do video games still a thing? Does Mormo just not actually want to hurt people? Is she fine with them having video games or is it weird propaganda? It's so gross out here nowadays. Any amazing what Mormo can do to a place in a century. What? You have no idea who I am or what you're doing? Fine, I'll give you a quick intro. Ready? You're the latest sword of Ditto. In short, run around, overcome trials, vanquish Mormo, get to get to go back to your everyday life. Blah blah blah. 
Look, I know I'm rushing you, but we've got very limited time, okay? Once you get your hands on the sword, it'll all come flooding back. Muscle memory or something. Beats me! The sword should be with its last owner, which means the graveyard. Follow my marker! Oh, there it is. Some of these crystals look suspicious. I know there's been a hundred years of darkness, but do we still have the 7-Eleven? These, these ruins suggest that we do, in fact, no longer have the 7-Eleven. Also, what is, what's this? All these minion podiums are looking at it funny. I forgot to be checking whether or not there's lag since I'm playing this on the Switch. I would, I would hope that there's no lag because, because of the kind of game it is. Whew. I had a weird feeling in my stomach and I don't think it's the leftover poop I had for breakfast. Dude, gross. Let's head for the grave before something icky pops out. You mean like, zombies? I mean, probably. At least skeletons. I'm gonna just take this. Yoink! My horns and cape are a different color now. As you take the sword from the grave, you feel a mystic power coursing through your veins. And be with the strength of your forebears, you have become the sword of Ditto! I'm not gonna say that every time, because if it's gonna do that every time. Ta da! We finally have the sword of Ditto. Our surroundings might give it away, but the last one didn't go so well. Still, it means it'll be hard for you to do worse. Listen to me going on though, we need to get to the town so we can get some directions, I'll mark it on your map. If you can mark it on my map, why do we need directions? Okay. It's the kazoo! You poke and prod at the statue, but nothing happens. Perhaps you're missing something. I'm missing the kazoo, lady! Well, that's a locked door. Oh, but I can cut the grass. Is that, what is that, coffee? I don't have a bow and whatnot this time. What? Oh, I, okay, I got it. One of the things I had read in the review that I guess this this uh, update fixed is that it used to be really hard to pick up the money. They said that the money would bounce all over the place and you couldn't get it until it stopped moving. But now the money just sort of doesn't do that. So I guess that's a part of the Mormo's Curse update. Which would mean that Mormo's Curse made the game better, which just, once again, makes me wonder whether or not this lady's actually that bad. Especially if she's actually allowing someone to like, oh, it's been a hundred years, time time for me to possibly get defeated. That's a bird. Okay, the old guy should be in the Hall of Swords. Let's go check it out. There's the kazoo lady. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And while we're at it, let's grab a travel kazoo too. It'll save you. I didn't mean to click that button. Whoops! And it's definitely worth checking out the toy shop too. I mean, for work purpose, obviously. What's left of it? Here I am. Ditto, Didokborn. The town is called something different now. Who are you? Damn it! I've really messed up this time. Mum's gonna kill me. I was experimenting with scent triggers and accidentally concocted something irresistible to all the zombies on the island. You'll help me? Great! I think you should kill about ten of them. That should do the trick. Call it a hunch. Find and defeat ten zombies for Locus. Not Lucas. Locus. As he just does the Chun-Li kick thing. Do it again. Do the Chun-Li kick thing again. Hey. Yeah, there you go. Should I go kill zombies? Notice from the mayor's office. The mayor regrets to inform all residents that she will no longer be able to attend next week's bake sale. She would like to stress that this is definitely not due to the increased monster sightings in the area. Why did... Why did reading that give me money? Hi, who are you? Andrew. I was at the hot dog stand the other day, getting my traditional 15 hot dog mega combo meal, and only had 13 left. I was fuming. I said to Ray, I said, who's been having my dogs, eh? And he said, no one. That it was a supply problem. Apparently, his pork supply got attacked by monsters and they ate loads of the pigs. Honestly, what is the world coming to these days, huh? This shirt and this this is a strange town. Are you the same dude? Cause you have gray hair now. Hey there, wanna buy something? Oh, you have burgers now. Come again, you hear? There's a sticker shack. Hello. Welcome to Air Kazoo. Did I see your identification? 
Well, I'll be a new customer! Been a while since we had one of those! Let me just find my new user script. Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome to Air Kazoo! In order to utilize our instant musical travel services, please take this complimentary kazoo! Press X to summon the Air Kazoo Transit Bus to, or to exit a dungeon. Cool! To travel Air Kazoo, simply locate and activate the Air Kazoo beacons you find around Ditto. You can only travel to, to an active beacon, so be sure to activate them when you find them. I'll activate this one for you now. <laughs> can I move? Assign your travel kazoo to the D-pad with the plus button, and use X to summon our bus. Have a nice day, and thank you for flying Air Kazoo. I guess I should probably do that then. Uh, let's see, bag. Cool. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Who are you? Who are you? Rosabella. Welcome to our humble town. Today we're celebrating 50 days since our last monster invasion. Ooh, don't talk to me right now. I'm in a right mood. A monster's only gone and stolen my favorite scarf right off the line. I wouldn't mind so much, except the thing looks better wearing it than I do. So is everybody British, then? Did I just walk into your house? Oh. Hello? New customer dot BAT. Welcome. This is the toy shop, a ministry of trials. Approved, a ministry of trials approved place to shop for all the wonders of play. We stock a few lesser toys of legend, as well as upgrades. All new trial takers are eligible to receive a complimentary NURB popper. Pow pow pow! This foam pellet gun does no damage but can hit targets at a far range. Press X to fire and hold to aim. Popper.bat, you will need to utilize this toy to solve puzzles at long range. As an added bonus, it takes no toy power to activate. Recycle.bat, in addition, you are also provided with a torch. Local weather patterns can cause issues with power supply, so please use this if necessary. I can't condone pyromania, but sometimes setting stuff on fire does get the job done quicker. Press X to ignite. Upsell bat. Any toys of legend may be upgraded using materials found on the island. All proceeds from upgrades are reinvested into running the trial system. Awesome, you got some new toys. Assign them blah 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 blah. Cool. No, stop that. What does this do? Coffee! Powers your toys of legend. Some people love it, others think it tastes like Mormo's bath water. Why do people know what that tastes like? So I've got 100 health. I'm supposed to be going to that one place that the sword is like, hey man, go there. There's those load lo long load times again. Can I smack that? Nope. Where am I supposed to be going? Right, 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 right. I thought it was raining for some reason, but apparently it is not. Can I torch the bird? Nope, it just flies away. Oh, you have a side quest for me. Sword! Would you help out a poor destitute soul like me? I've, I've no money to my name and I'm so very hungry. There's a competition running at the moment. If you can find 14 party hats, you you get a great prize at the Ditto Mart. Would you find them for me? Oh, it helped me so, and I think I have something I can part with in return. Charles wants you to collect 14 party hats. Yoga class is canceled this week while we wait for the mats to be deep clean following from last week's accident. Oh. Oh, it's it's still going. It's it's still going. Oh, got him on fire. Mail. There's a flyer for monster repellent inside. It's probably just relabeled stink bombs. Did I just find a sack of money. I should probably go do what I'm supposed to be doing. Because maybe that'll make it easier for me to do the other things? Like, I don't know where I'd go to find zombies. Open sesame! Turtle? Statues. I guess I gotta go around. Hulu! Ayo! What's shaking? Tell me, little one, is that a giant dung beetle floating there, or has my senility finally caught up with me? 
Then it's really you, Puku. Sure is! You're the sword keep, right? One and the same. I was concerned my time may pass without this coming to bear like my poor grandfather. I presume you're here to discern the location of the anchors, am I correct? Oh. Perhaps not, given the blank look on your face. Have you explained anything, Puku? Does this poor child even know about Mormo? Of course they do! I think. I didn't mention that stuff to you, didn't I? No. Puku, you need to start taking this more seriously. The last sword didn't even survive long enough to make it to our hall. Well, if we're here now, that just means that I'm definitely improving, right? Okay, okay, you're right. I get the message. I'm not sure you do, Puku. That failure 100 years ago has caused immeasurable sorrow for the people of Ditto. Her monsters have spread across the island, and Mormo's wicked rule has sapped our little remaining hope. That last faint gleam of hope is the sword, here now. They are all that stand between our salvation and a descent further into darkness. And that means we need a proper plan of action to take Mormo down, right? Correct. Your next move should be to destroy Mormo's anchor. It's one of the instruments of her regeneration, and binds her to this realm. Her minions have squirreled it away deep within Ditto's cavernous underbelly. To access said chamber, you'll require one of the toys of legend. Would that I could give you them, but these old bones have proven a barrier to discerning the location. <laughs> you must explore outside the town and seek them yourself. I'll put some more details in your quest, but for now, Puku will guide the way. Okay. I meant to give him an old man voice, but instead I gave him like a serious, like, I don't know, voice. Kinda reminds me of the mayor from Animal Crossing New Leaf. Or the former mayor, not me. The the old turtle dude. Ditokborn. Alright. Well, that marks the end of my forced hand-holding. You're free to roam Ditto as you please, but my advice? Destroy Mormo's anchors before the big day. It'll make that final battle easier. Now, there's one quirk of this cursed dealie that I've not mentioned. Whoever wrote the rules made it so that you're guaranteed to be strong enough to face Mormo. Ish. See, that sword of yours gets stronger as you help Ditto out. Clear out dungeons, vanquish monsters, help the town folk, regular hero stuff. Once it's strong enough, well, then it's time to face her ugliness. You have 24 hours to prepare, then you'll be facing her down, whether you're ready or not. You need all the help you can get when that happens, so take this with you and see where it leads. Celestial Token, a symbol of the belief in the power of serendipity. You'll know what to do with that when the time comes, or I'll just pop up and annoy you. Either way works for me. After all that, I'm sick of the sound of my own voice. Velvety smooth though it is, so I'll let you, le let you lead. On we go. I guess I gotta find those zombies I said I was gonna take care of, and also some party hats. I don't know where I'd find either of these things. I imagine the zombies will just sort of show up. Ow. Maybe I've got to leave town. Hey. And let me get my useless weapon ready. It doesn't hurt them, but it can shoot from a distance. Rats! What the heck? What is happening? What is that? I couldn't even see it! Okay, looks like smooshing the rats makes, uh, makes the sword better. Now, one of the things that I had read in the review was that you had- OH GOD! Okay, that's what's happening. I read that you had four days before it just made you go fighter, but it looks like they changed that to instead of being four days to fighter, now it's, uh... Who the hell are you? Now you just, uh... Have until the sword is good. Oh, my bad. Did you hear about Derek? Terrible to do that was. Apparently he actually nabbed something right off a police officer. Didn't get caught, but as soon as the Count found out, he was thrown out of the scavengers. See, stealing something that is someone was wearing or carrying is a violation of the first rule of scavenging, isn't it? I wonder what'll happen to the poor guy now. I don't know. It's not really my concern, it. Please stop. Cool, I beat one, but I am very, very about to die. Looks like you're getting low on health. Do I even have something tasty? Oh, I have a donut. Did I... Did, did I do it? I 
I hit ZR and instead it changed the menu. That's not even the button that ate it. The A button ate it. Oh. I don't know where that money came from. What is this? It's probably some Mormo nonsense. Hey rat, where do I find the zombies? Oh! Oh! Does that mean I have to to uh, vanquish the shooty manhole cover dudes to get into the series? Crest the raw hole. Level 2. Oh, there goes that money. What's in here? It's burger! A cooked medium rare on a lightly toasted brioche bun. Not healthy, but who cares? Oh, there's something else tucked away in here. Ancient Tablet version 3 31.0. A lost tome from Ditto's ancient history. Go to the Hall of Swords and read all the logs you've recovered so far. March 2nd, something 1058. Dad bought me a journal and said I should start to use it. Went on and on about how he regretted not doing so. I gave it about a week before I stopped using it daily. Today was fine, average school day. Baron is still being a jerk to me for whatever reason. It's so weird, we used to be so close like best friends, but now all he does is pick on me. It's like, dude, I know, you don't have to tell me my failings. I know them better than anyone. Mom says that boys go through some stupid faces when they're teenagers, so she reckons that's it, but why do I have to be the target? Okay. Is that, is that my story? Or was that somebody else? Well, I'm back from the underground. I still have not found any zombies. Maybe I went the wrong way. Oh god, I found the zombies! I should drink this milk. Okay, the milk is much, much more nutritious than the sandwich. Also, give me my money. That zombie has a pompadour. Squeaks! I wonder if I can... I cannot set the zombies on fire. I can slightly annoy them by shooting them, though. You stop that, that's nasty. Mine. Wop, wop, wop. Ew. Wop. Stop that! How many zombies is that? I'm gonna beat ya! As long as you don't puke on me. Wop. Rude. Can you imagine if throwing up on people with standard zombie attacks? Oh, there's some more. Where were y'all before? Could, were there just not zombies because I still had to find the, uh, the log? Also, that seems to be some sort of super zombie. I was right, they do take bonus damage if you hit them in the back of the head. I should probably... No! If I can just smack! Smack, smack, smack! Nyeh. Oh, I got him! Yeah! Go back to Ditto Dittok Born and see Locus. Lucas. Yeah, Locus. Whoppity whoop whop. Okay. That should be money to buy food, maybe. It looked like the cheapest food was $80, and I've got $57. So maybe not. But if I just cut down more grass, then that should be fine. As we wait for the giant loading times. Okay. Let's see. I'm partially inclined to try to have the episode be a cycle. Ooh, chocolate. 
But I don't know how long a cycle would be, because if it's no longer four days and now it just comes down to the strength of my, uh, my sword, this is not how long that's gonna take. Hey, Locus. Great! Thanks so much for your help! Here, take this. Call it payment. I owe you one. An incredibly rare gemstone that is highly sought after. So do I actually have the gemstone, or was that just the money? But hey, I can buy food now. Also, they told me to go to the Ditto Mart. What's in the Ditto Mart? Well, it's saving. Hello! Are your prices better than the guy outside? Not really. What is this? Oh! Poison Bomb! Fire Mine, Ether Mine, Clockwork Mouse, Sushi! Some salmon uh, nigiri? It's probably fresh. It's probably not. I've got plus one luck and that's it. I don't know if I need that. Especially if I only get one. I'm gonna get it though. Okay, I get five. Pleasure doing business with you. And I should probably also buy all the, the cookies. Give me another one. Oh, I bought all the cookies. Now give me one of these. May fate smile upon you. Okay. So I gotta find party hats. I don't know if the party hats are just in Ditto, Ditto Born, or I wonder if Ditto's called something different every generation. Load faster. Okay. Uh. I hope those boxes or barrels weren't important to anybody. Barrel, barrel. Oh yeah. Wait, is this my mail now? Pretty sure something just scuttled around in there. Let's leave it forever. I don't ever actually get mail, do I? Oh yeah, the toy store. But I, I only have forty-two dollars, so probably don't go in there. Where will I find these fabled party hats? Maybe in this house right here. Can I never go back to my actual house? Hey you! I'm looking for party hats. Heh. <laughs> what? I'm allowed to harump them my own house. Well, I'm gonna take this out of your own house. Either bomb! Everything crystallizes. Mine now, goodbye. I kind of expected you to do something about that, to be honest. Hmm. Guess not. Long loading time again. It's like I would I would like to actually accomplish something in this video, but I also don't want to accidentally make my laptop die. So Maybe So evidently there's nothing I can do about them slibby slime slime dudes. But maybe there's something else in this house here. Hello lady! I've got an amazing Mormon costume for the party next nice week, what? You think it might be a little insensitive? I don't remember asking for your opinion. I mean, yeah! That's why I took your Twinkling Gemstone. Oh, there's something else in here. And I took your tablet! The source close to the upper house tells me that Fate has indeed been spending more time with His Excellency, and has in recent months been acting as an unofficial advisor. Exactly what they are advising on seems to be a closely guarded secret even behind closed doors. Personally, it's a strange pairing. Two recent introverts are coming together to be introverted together. Daguerre the false health has been on the wane, and fate seems to have put their old lifestyle behind them to shrink it from the public eye. My guess? Daguerre is on his way out and wants some kind of knowledge about it, but exactly, exactly how it's going to go down. But if the rest of us mortals don't get to find out, can exceptions be made for the Emperor? I don't know. I'm gonna break this pot because you're rude. Can I break anything else in your house? Nope, okay. Just the pot then. 
Everything stops for these load screens. All the music, all the sound. Hey! I can't stand the slugs! You with the pointy sword, do something about it! A reward? Don't be ridiculous! A private citizen shouldn't have to pay for services the council should be providing! Wait, wait, very well. I'll give you something, but don't dawdle, you hear? Is that what those things outside were? Were those not slugs? Who are you? Humble Town, okay. The lady celebrating the 50 days of blah blah blah. Load screen! Oh! How about we not be here? I mean, it was only level 3, but... I killed the level 3 zombie, but it took a while. That was a level 3 skeleton with a sword and shield. I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with that. Ooh, a cookie! I don't know why there was a cookie in the grass, but I'm not complaining about it. But yeah, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going right now. I think this is where I already was over here. But I also, since I can't seem to get past these big old slime walls, and y'all are not slugs- STOP THAT! Y'all are rats, not slugs. Leave me alone! That's probably some more mo nonsense. So I don't know how to find the anchor. I don't know where to find slugs. I can't really figure out where else I can and can't go. The coffee bean. Well, it's, it's, it is, now seems to be suddenly nighttime. No, God! What is that sound? Oh, the mice can also get shot. That's interesting knowledge, but I noticed the mu the music completely changed when night fell, and I can't help but wonder if it's also going to be nighttime in uh, in Ditto, or if Ditto just doesn't get nighttime. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But it's, it's like I said, while I would like to try to have this episode have some actual progress in it, I might not. I might just need to buckle down and accept the fact that I'm going to have to figure out how to play it off screen. Oh hey, the I have to cut the grass for the party hats. So I guess this is pretty much just. Cut grass the game? But there's actually already one of those. I forget what it's called, but there's a game where you play as a grass cutter instead of a hero. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, you big wall of sluge. I don't know what that was. Now, it said that fire would be faster, but also it's raining, so I don't know if that'll still hold. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, nope, it's, it's still going. Give me party hats! Like, I don't even know what level the sword is supposed to be. All I know is that it said when the sword is strong enough, it'll just go. But maybe time only passes when I'm, like, outside of the town. So if I want it to be daytime again, I have to leave again. I cannot scorch the trees. Oh, there's another party hat. Okay. And that's the path that goes to Mormo, which is... I'm not about that. On the other hand, it doesn't sound like there's really anything stopping me from actually trying to fight her anyway, just to see what'll happen. 
So seeing as I don't actually know what else I'm supposed to do because I'm just barely finding party hats and I can't get past these slime walls and I don't know what this coin is supposed to do. I only got three party hats and he wants ten. Maybe, maybe the way I should handle this episode is I should just go see what happens if I try to fight more more now. And when that's all said and done, that'll be a good e end point for the episode. And then in between the episodes, I'll see if I can figure out how to play it better. And then I'll do another one when I actually know how to make it through a run proper. Unless there's party hats out here too, that'd be kind of hilarious. But Angry Bone Man seems to be gone. What just happened? Um... My television had a mild stroke there for a second. I don't know what that was about. Television, why did you just have a mild stroke? I don't know if it was the TV, actually. It might have been the game, because... If it was just my TV, the recording would not have also just done that. So I don't know what's going on with that, but let's just see about going in there. Okay, so everything's level 3 and 4. Itching to take more more down? You can skip ahead to Judgment Day by going to sleep in your house. You wake up on the big day itself. Sometimes you just need a bit of hibernation. I don't know where that is. It's a brain! Who are you? Uh, why did I agree to meet her here? This place gives me the creeps. I don't know. Sounds like your problem. So yeah, if I want to skip ahead to Judgment Day, I need to go back to my house, which I don't actually know how to do. How about we not do that? Was my house this way? No, that doesn't go anywhere. So I'm gonna just get out of here because apparently the game don't like it when you attack level 3 monsters while you're level 1. It makes the, the game just decide to stop. But the, the recording didn't die, so I don't know what that was. Like, at all. Okay then, so where's my house? Is there a is there a map? There is a map. So this I go got to do some. Oh, wait a minute. So that means there is some other places I could have been going. I just went to Mormo's nonsense by accident because I could have gone this way and not been at Mormo's nonsense. So maybe I don't need to just, maybe I don't need to abort the playthrough, I'm just stupid. Okay. But at the same time, I might still just, well let me activate this. Now you can travel to this beacon whenever you want. I already assigned the travel kazoo. Get away from me. Okay, so looks like I gotta go through here. And then there's some upping, and then I'll be at my house, and then I can fast forward to Judgment Day, get destroyed, and that'll be the end of this episode. Although, what is this? Can I find out what this is yet? Nope. I cannot find out what that is. Okay, so back to my house. Do I heal when I sleep? Feather look Rockies. 
Level two. But do do do. Now I can fast travel to my house. I don't know if that'll hold between playthroughs. Get away. I'm just trying to go to my house so I can end the world. Leave me alone. Until the final day. Let's face Mormo! The reflections from the curtains kind of look like bones. Please tell me I healed. Okay, cool. So sleeping does heal you. And I can just fast travel with the power of Kazoo back to Ditto and then go try to face Mormo. The big day is here! Everything we've been working towards. If you need, you can go restock in the town, maybe grab some freebies from a hopeful townspeople. I'm gonna not do that. I'm just going to go straight to my demise and be done with it. What is this? Why can I... What is this? Oh wait, do I have to throw this in the thing? No, I can't bring it with me, so let's just... I can't even use the kazoo? Okay, so it looks like on the last day you just gotta walk because thematics. Do 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 do. Part of me is like, don't try very hard to stay alive if you're just like on your way to be destroyed in the in the meantime. But on the other hand. It feels like I should still try because when I die, none of my items are coming with me. So I should probably just... Give it the old college try. Also, what if this is the anchor thing? What if I just had to find a key and go in there? I never saw a key. I don't know where I'd find one because there wasn't really anywhere I could go. But... I don't know, maybe? So the turtle didn't know where the thing was and Puku decided to just... The old town -aru? It'll let you, it'll, I'll let you lead the way. Once you're ready, head for Mormo's place. Yeah, I'ma, I'ma do that. I'm gonna go to Mormo's place because I don't really know what else to do. It's just been about an hour of me running around in circles, smashing grass, trying to help people, and not really knowing how they govern when and when and when not zombies happen. Are there not monsters? Do I need to... Do I need to fight more in there? I just walk up. Do all the monsters just leave just so I can do this? Well, here we are! The gaudy puke joint that is Mormo's palace! She's she's in there right now, waiting for your destined duel. Let me be frank, she won't go easy on you, and she's slain a number a great number of swords over the years. People who are in your shoes now, and remember, if you fail, then everyone in on Ditto is gonna have to live under her rule for a hundred years. But we can we can delay no longer. Hold that sword up and let's bust the barrier down. Yep, time to condemn everybody to another hundred years of darkness just because I don't know what I'm doing. The rest is up to you. I can't help once you go in. Uh, I promised myself I wouldn't get upset this time. Pull yourself together, Puko. I just... In case you don't make it out, I... Well, it's been fun. You're a good kid and it's been a pleasure knowing you. Uh, what am I saying? This isn't the end. You're never sure stuck up a witch who's boss. I can try. That's all I can do is I can try. That loading screen down there suggests that I, I, that it's already over? Okay. Level 8. All of Mormo's anchors are still active, so don't expect this place to be a walk in the park. I hope you know what you're doing. The people who did aren't going to be happy if they have to deal with Mormo for another hundred years. The puke cannot help me while climbing the tower. If you're defeated, the sword will pass and the world will fall into a hundred years of darkness. Be careful! I mean, it's not like any of the people who know me right now are going to be alive when the next sword happens. They won't know. But hey, now that I know it's level 8 in here, now I know what level I need to be to progress and the fact that it's going to take 30,000 years and oh no, there's separate paths. Oh god. I forgot to equip bombs. 
Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Can I, can I still? Uh. Get rid of the kazoo. No. I'm boned. I'm boned, I'm boned, I'm boned. I am hilariously, overwhelmingly boned. Oh god. They can shoot! Actually, I'm doing a pretty a substantial amount of damage to you. I have been vanquished. The sword falls. But I was doing more damage to those level 8 dudes while being level 1 than I thought I would. So let's see what happens when you continue. Other than having condemned the world to another 100 years of darkness. But all of them are dead, so they won't know it was me. I'm a new person. I might not even be human next time. Maybe I'll be a cat or something. I... I don't know. I honestly don't know. And low to the sword fall, blah, 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 blah. Like so many before, so many to come. Glimmer of hope extinguished, blah, blah, blah. In secret, they prayed for the one thing that might deliver them, the coming of the next sword. Oh, I can choose! The noble one, the distant one, the created one. That's a lot of badges. And you cannot loop back to the beginning. Um... Let's be the distant one. Yes, that badge. A hundred years later, just as the last embers of hope were dying. Oh, they put me right at the, uh, right at the gravestone. As you take the sword from the grave, blah, 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 blah sort of ditto. So did I get things back? Hey, Puku. Excellent work, how's it been sort of ditto? Takes some getting used to, an hour ago you were asleep, save a blah, blah, blah. More than charge for a long time. Let's go. Whoa, you just found a sticker! Equip stickers to get super cool bonuses! Press plus and head to the sticker screen to check it out. Did I have to die to actually be able to do things? Like, you already started the game off with with me getting insta-murdered. But did y'all really hold back stickers until I died again? Was I not even supposed to be able to do anything that time? Where, where am I? What is this? Okay, who are you? Hey, my name's Flop. I'm the number one Mormo fan on this island. No one else comes close. She's just so amazing. And who else around here is serving such devilish fabulosity? Not you, that's for sure. Anyway, if you want to get your... Your... Mormorabilia, this is the place to come. I'm a... Mormo is my queen. I stand for Mormo. I'm a not. May Mormo darken your day. Do I have anything? Okay, I still have the gun. I still... I have a bow now. I have the torch. I have the kazoo. I've got milk. I've got a chocolate bar, and I've got the Celestial Token again. So you don't lose everything. But I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. But anyway, once it finishes the infinite load screen and it auto-saves. Right. Okay, because I don't know how to save you for real. But that about does it for... Oh, there's zombies now. That about does it for this episode of Let's Play the Sword of Ditto. Uh, in the next one, maybe I will have managed to accomplish something. I mean, I was gonna just play some stuff off screen, but now that I know they were holding back things for me until I died again, who, who, who knows? I, I certainly don't. So, that being said, this has been Anashi Sasuke. If you liked it, like it, and subscribe will be groovy. If you didn't, you don't need to do either one of those things, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Later!